Hey, we're back for another installment of Project Kayak, and today it's a little bit different. I'm sitting down, and I've got PVC pipe in my hand and a bunch of miscellaneous hardware. I need to install my Mega Live imaging on this kayak and see what all the forward facing sonar fuss is about. And I looked at different poles for mounting the transducer, and well, they can be a pretty expensive. Obviously, the whole thing is expensive, but maybe here's a place, it's a pole. I thought maybe here's a place where we can save a little bit of money. I've watched a few of the videos. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube that you can check out, but I've kind of taken what I think is the best of all of them. And I've come up with this pole that I think is going to be pretty slick. It's going to deploy. It's going to come out. It's going to be out of the way. It's inexpensive. It's maybe not the least expensive build out there, but it's maybe a little bit slicker than that. I think all in for all this hardware and I'll list all this out in the comments. I think we're looking at less than 50 bucks still. Uh, let's get into it and see what we get. Okay, let's start with maybe the single most expensive piece in this build. This is a little sonar mount, kind of like a RAM mount, but this is definitely an off-brand. I picked this up on Amazon. There are several sellers that appear to be selling this exact same product. I got this overnight for $15, I believe it was. It's maybe not as good a build as the other brands, but at $15, I thought I'm going to check it out just to see. So step one is I'm going to improve this mount. The end pieces have a little bit of a wobble to them. I read in the reviews on Amazon, people complain that they tighten this as much as they can and it still doesn't stay put. Uh, one guy said he puts a little bit of JB Weld inside these bolts. They never really need to come apart for any reason. So let's go ahead and make that step one of our project. We'll take this one. And that was very loose. Loosen that up, take that screw out. And then on the other end, we'll do the same thing. Again, that was very loose. So we've got that prepped. Let's go ahead and mix up just a little bit of JB Weld here. I don't think we need much. Just a little dot ought to do it. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit on the threads of that screw. Actually, I'm gonna put a good bit. So like I said, we really don't need these to come apart ever again, and now they won't. Screw that down, get our Allen wrench, and just tighten that down. All right, so with that, I don't know, 30 second repair, if this thing ends up being everything I need it to be and it was only 15 bucks, that seems like a pretty easy deal. So this plate that came with the mount uh, doesn't have holes that are gonna line up with these U-bolts that I'm gonna need to mount it to the pole. So I'm gonna need to take my Dremel, cut a couple notches in the sides of this thing with the Dremel. So the basic idea is I'm going to mount this on the edge of the boat. I'm going to mount this outer, a piece of this pipe. I'm going to cut this down, mount this outer pipe. We'll use these little clamps to hold this to the pipe. And then we've got an inner pipe that's slightly smaller. Oh, you probably didn't see that. It was off camera. Inner pipe that fits right in there. 
and that's what the sonar is going to mount or the transducer rather is going to mount to on this end and you can see that'll turn i've got a little elbow that i'm going to have attached to it at the top that's going to serve as my handle and my directional indicator and you can see that's going to rotate and uh, i've got an idea for how i can add a little bit of tension to this so it won't just swing super free it'll be you know you can put it and it'll stay i think it's gonna be pretty simple but i think it'll be pretty effective uh, so that's the build in a nutshell. Let's go through the steps. And I think we've got a spot for this right here. It's a little tight, but I think that'll work just fine. So I'm going to drill some pilot holes. All right, that looks like that's pretty sturdy. Put the rest of this on there and measure out the tube. These are two foot sections of PVC pipe, which really ends up being just about perfect for most kayaks. You do want to make sure you've got a little bit of clearance under the kayak that uh, the signal's not going to be blocked by the bottom of that kayak. So you need to be a little deeper than that. Two feet seems to hit just about perfectly. Uh, so what we need to do is mark the larger diameter pipe, the outside pipe, because that's the one we're going to cut down a little bit. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do first is I've got this elbow that's going to serve as my handle. It's going to go on the top of the smaller pipe and I will glue that eventually but let's just check this out for size right now you can see when that goes in what that's going to do is that's the stopper for the top for this to uh, rotate on so it's a little bit shorter obviously than this end of the pipe so let's just take a look here if we look at this and we've got the brackets here for the uh, transducer so I can see how big that is, how much of the inner pipe that I'm gonna to need to mount the bracket to. So with that there, and this pipe lined up to the top edge where it hits that joint, I can just mark it right there. That's the length we're gonna need this outer piece of pipe to be. And through the magic of editing, this is now shorter. Uh, you'll just want to make sure you make, get this cut straight. I used my chop saw. To be perfectly honest with you, it's because my chop saw's got a lot of dust on it. It looks terrible on the video. So if you're going to cut this with a hand tool, just use a box to make sure you've got this a nice straight cut. Otherwise, uh, you know, a, a miter saw is exactly what you need. Uh, and I think that's the only cut we're going to need to make on this whole thing. So you can see now that the outside pipe is the right length with the in... Oh, you definitely see that I cut this on the chop saw. Look at all that <laughs> stuff there. Uh, now, you know, we've got just enough room for this bracket to mount down here. And this will be held tight. And you can see that this will rotate within that. So that's the plan. That's really all there is to it. Uh, let's mount the... Uh, ball mount to the outer pipe next step actually there is one more step i want to look at doing here i wanted a way to be able to adjust the tension of this so it doesn't spin quite so freely so that when i point it at something it might stay and i think the simplest way to do that these the pipe fitting is pretty close there's a little bit of play there but the tolerance is pretty close i think what i'm going to do is cut a slot in this outside tube so you can see, I just took a little cut out of the end of that outer tube, and I think that's all it's gonna require. Now when we slide this on here, we can slide this uh, hose clamp on here, and I'll be able to adjust this tension and get it kinda just right so that it'll spin just the right amount without spinning free. All right, so the next step is gonna be to mount the uh, old sonar mounting plate onto the outer 
uh, tube. We'll use some U-bolts to snug that up. Actually, this mount came with this little rubber strap. Not sure what the application for that would be, but I'm gonna leave that on there because I think that little bit of soft rubber is gonna help that pipe have less of a, an opportunity to twist. We'll wanna put this up near the very top of the tube. This is the bottom where we made that cut a second ago. All right, so I think the only thing left now, obviously, is I'm gonna to have to chop these uh, extra bolt length down to size, uh, but that's no big deal. Otherwise, this looks perfect. I know this thing is made out of white PVC, but in an effort to make it look a little bit less janky and not noticeable from a mile away, I am gonna paint it black for whatever that's worth. We'll see how well that stays. Uh, I also wanted to point out to you that I put a little cap on the end of this. This is kind of my steering. I didn't want a big long steering thing coming off of it like a lot of them have. It's gonna be right there down at my side, you know, where my hand is. I just want something that, so I can tell what direction it's pointing. And I thought that would not take up a lot of space and serve the purpose. So I'm gonna give this a light sanding, both of these pieces, and uh, hit it with some black spray paint. We'll see how that goes. So that looks a little bit better. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and attach the uh, mount for the transducer. We're just gonna wanna make sure we've got this lined up. So when we look at our handle up at the top of this pole, it's going to uh, be in alignment with where this transducer is pointing. So. And then we're gonna mount the transducer on this bracket. Good. Now let's put it on the boat. All right. Well, that sure looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do. Cool. All right. So the cable, we're going to put a few ties on here. And I think I'm just going to loop it up and store the extra cable in the little pocket that's just under the uh, Humminbird unit. Now I'm gonna take this little ethernet dongle uh, that I'll need to attach the ethernet to this Helix unit. And this just has a connector that seats right in the plug-in block that plugs into the back of this unit. And we still need to attach the ethernet cable. And then we just need power connected. So if you watched the other uh, Humminbird install video, you know that the battery is here in the front compartment. There's the unit. And in the front compartment, we've got the battery. 
and then you can see down there is where the power has run to the Humminbird. So I'm going to run that same route, obviously, with the power cable for the transducer. So we've got everything hooked up here. That's got the Ethernet cable going into it now. If you look down here, you can see where we routed that extra power cable through that opening. Got all the cords just kind of looped up in this pocket here. I think I'm just going to keep those in that spot. And then you can see that the new pole is right there. And just to demonstrate how quickly and easily this piece can be moved up and out of the way. Ta-da! That's a wrap on our DIY transducer pole for our Mega Live on our Old Town kayak. As you can see, Humminbird says we need to get out on the water and who are we to argue?